Back in we go. Why did I do that though? Mrs. Fratelli glowed with a carefree smile. Hi. Is that your suitcase? That is two weeks of unencumbered tranquility. Excuse me? Is it to Kate my order? Two weeks of San Maritas and forgotten obligations. Excuse me. I'd love to place an order. With a zen -like calm. She's going on vacation. As soon as the lunch rush ends, I'll be a feather on the wind. You're going on vacation? For the first time in years. And I've got you and your mom to thank. What's that? I didn't tell you yet. You two are going to fill in for me at, at the diner while I'm gone. Just like old times. It's fine, I'll wait. What do I do with this? Is there anything else I need to do with it? I'm assuming this is complete then, yeah? We got everybody's order. You're welcome, I guess? Uh, do I go ask Gran? Or mom? Whatever. <laughs> I guess it's mom. The actual mom. Bunnies. There's a lot of bunnies. Hi. Hey, Mr. Duncreed. I'm gonna go see my dad in a bit. You wanna come with? Even after everything, you still- Mr. Nuncreed shook his head. You really are your father's son, aren't you? I don't think I'm ready for that yet. Well, you're always invited. I bet he'd love to hear from you. I'll visit Walt in my own time. You run along now. Hi, buddies. What's happening here? With perennial harvest <laughs> gone, the transportation tubes were left unused. <laughs> Come one, come all. No one is too big, no one is too small. For gifts, wild ride. Maybe not completely <laughs> He made it into a theme park? Just one piece of candy for the ride of your life. Who's next? Me, 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 me. But maybe... I guess this beehive had nothing to do with anything, huh? Um... I, I'm just checking it out. Okay, just checking it out. The hazardous waste is now gone. That's cool. I guess we can... We're going to Beck's house, I thought. Are you busy? Guess what? Yesterday I saw a Dynas Titus. Uh, and that's good? It's great! Is it though? What is it? I haven't spotted one of those in years. At this rate, Beacon Pines is going to be... Become the bug capital of the county. County or country? Uh, there's Beck. I have news I think you'd enjoy. This morning I unpacked my last box. You're officially moved in? It's just a box. Let's not blow this out of proportion. It sounds awfully like putting down roots. I guess I decided this place is root worthy. You're gonna be stuck with me for the foreseeable future. I do have to warn you. Most years aren't going to be as interesting as this one. I think I'll manage. Ready? Before we go, there's a bit of a surprise. What is it? Do I want to know? Do I want to know? Aww. What is this? Uh, It's a flower. My mom prepared this tree especially for you. They didn't have to do that. Oh, you're gonna plant it at your dad's grave. No. It, it wasn't just them. It's just about the whole town pitched in. We all owe you. It should be okay in the cold. It should do okay in the cold of old beacon pines. And thrive as things warm up. That's perfect. When you're ready? What does that mean if I'm ready? Well, I have the password. I don't know what to do with that other thing. Like, I did all the things with it, but I guess I could talk to Gran before we leave. Just to be 100% safe with that. Let's go talk to Gran. And then we'll go on the wild ride. That way, well, Gran, or I guess our mom at this point. I didn't see that coming. I didn't even realize this change was the right answer. I have to go back and do the other two as well. If I want to get all the routes done. Um, but we're slowly running out of time. I only have 30 minutes left. 
where the game goes away entirely. I've been trying my hardest to get as much done as possible. It's worth paying for, though. It is totally worth paying for. Even at $20, it's completely worth it. I'm still an animal. I left all of that open. <laughs> I don't see her. Maybe she's gonna be there? At his grave? Maybe I could ask her then? Mom! I wanna ask you before I leave! No? I guess not. Alright, to the grave we go. I can't believe we, uh, we got everything. I can't believe I didn't click one statue, though. <laughs> one statue to get the last recipe thing. Uh, and like I said before, I don't mind that they did that, like, thing back and forth. Like, I don't mind getting the wrong answer. The thing about that was just... I had to start from the beginning, which, of course, we already know what they're gonna say, so it's uninteresting. And that's my only nitpick about the game. The story was great. Um, can I go in here? I can. I gotta talk to them one last time. The school year, Kato and Bert had become close friends. <laughs> Did you know that? When they covered up the source, they found a new species of fungus? Yep, they're in studying it at the new labs. Did you know that? Beacon Pines is now the smallest town in the country? Or county? Yep, close to the population before Primo Harvest moved in. It typically went on like this for quite some time. <laughs> That's so cool. He found a friend. A friend in me. I believe it's over. Yeah, the whole town's starting a new leaf. The town? I was talking about Atomic Hank. Or Hank Atomic. Oh my god, my dyslexia is showing even more. I just finished the last issue. How was it? As great as always. Hank finally returned to Earth. But I just feel weird now. Weird can be cool. It really means you're ready for something new. Any suggestions? You could ask Miss Hatch what about what she's always reading. She seems to really enjoy it. Huh, maybe I'll do that. Hmm. That's how I feel about like finishing a movie or like a TV series or anime. It's Luke like, what do I go Piper next? Shoulder. Piper. Blade stealthily inside a large volume of mathematics. Oh god. The first issue of Hank Atomic. Ah! Piper, are you reading Hank Atomic? Uh, do you mind not telling anyone? I kind of got a reputation to uphold. Oh, it's nothing to be ashamed of. Just about every kid in town reads Hank Atomic. Honestly, I'm excited for you. What I give to start over fresh. To experience it all again for the first time. Mm. I don't think you can do that with any series. I guess that's the downside of finishing something nice. At least now I can enjoy it again through you. Aw. Promise to tell me about it as you go? Sure thing. Yeah, I feel that way about, like, doing the Final Fantasy MSQ. <laughs> like, oh, hey, you only get one time doing it. Which is super cool, but at the same time, it's like, ah, I'm sad it's over. I know they're adding more content and stuff like that, but you will never get back, like, your first time through the thing. I spent a week or so spamming that, for sure. Oh, are we ready? Got it? Yeah. You got it. Now that's a good looking tree. Being a special occasion and whatnot. This rides on the house. You're gonna wanna hang on tight to that little tree. Off we go. <sighs> oh, 
the sad moments. I think this is it. Yep. The end I've been waiting for. <laughs> Honestly, I began to lose hope of ever finding it. But then you came along. You're welcome, I, book. You're welcome. I don't know exactly how to thank you. It's hard to explain how much this means to me. It's funny, now that our time together is finally ending, I'm at a loss for words. Let's just watch the end together. Done. A good little tree. The best little tree. I guess this is the true timeline. Thank you, children. This means a lot. Yeah, thanks for everything. Trex, I only did what a super awesome best buddy would have done. But we should probably give you some time alone now. You good? Yep, I am. It's been a wild year. How are you feeling? Everyone keeps asking me that. I'm fine, really. Pa always said the only thing filtering the fiddle is the cello. Now I feel like a dang cello. Cello? Like... Well, if I ever stop feeling like cello, I'm here for you. I know. You don't have to say it. You take make an awesome- you two make an awesome pair. Excuse me? We're a trio now. Yep. I- Thanks. There's just one thing missing that's part of our group. What? Missing? Let me tell you a little story about a man named Hank Atomic. Oh god. I won't be long. We'll be waiting for you at the phone booth. I found the perfect way to start her summer. All over again. You've got some good friends. I'm so proud of you. Your father would be so proud. I know. Mom, can I ask you a question? Did you ever dream about that? Not a night goes by that I don't. Are you afraid that you're gonna forget him? Forget what he looked like? Forget his voice? No, because much of him lives on in you. He loved that little old tree, but I know he would have loved this one more. Because his two favorite people planted it. Oh my god, Naya, stop! I'll give you two a moment. Of course, we gotta go back to the tears because this is ridiculous. Hey, Dad. Mother Mel says that the next few years, this place should warm up. <sighs> so you won't be able to cold for much longer. I think I finally understand why you left that night. There were things you believed in. Big things. Those beliefs were the things that made you you. If you wouldn't have stood up to Sharper, stood up with, for what you believed in, you wouldn't have been the same person anymore. You had to go. That didn't mean you loved us any less. It still sucks. I might not have visited you as much as I used to. I might not visit you as much as I used to. I know you understand. All things change. Alright. No. This is how the actual story ends. Yep. You blow out the candle as well. Ah. That was really great. That was super special story. It it kind of reminds me of like the last campfire. It had a really heartfelt story. And very, very creative mechanics. I only had that one little nitpick with the cards. But other than that, it was a super fun experience and a super good story. I was supposed to technically stream it, like I said before, but uh, we didn't actually stream it because I, I got busy that week. So I ended up just going ahead and doing it on my own time, and I'm kind of glad I did because I don't know how I would have reacted on stream to this, to be honest with you guys. It, it's kind of a heartfelt story and my chat's a little rowdy. So, you can always join us over on Twitch for some more community stuff, I'm figuring. But over here on Two Tales, we're just gonna take it slow sometimes and have really heartwarming stories like this one. I mean, there was a lot of stuff that happened. A lot of stuff, but it was really cool. I really do hope 
that they make a second one because there was a part two kind of teased in there and I really hope that they come back and I did this just in time I really wish I would have done this a year ago um because it was on game pass and if you had it on game pass and you checked it out I want to know your thoughts if you don't know what it is and you just watched this whole playthrough I want to know your thoughts on that too what did you guys think of the game did you like it did you not like it this this was a really really good story for me um I, I absolutely loved it and yes totally worth the 20 bucks that it normally is for sure um, if you got it on Game Pass, like I said, then that's also a bonus, because that's $15 a month. It, Game Pass is a really great volume. I think it just went up to 17 actually, but yeah. Uh, totally worth it, in my opinion. Totally worth it. It also is $12 if you get Game Pass. I don't know if that's going to continue, because today is the final day when I'm recording this that it's on Game Pass. But either way... It is worth the $20, and it goes on sale on Steam quite often, so if you can pick it up, I definitely would. I only got about, with me, you know, parading around and going back and forth a bit, it was about 6-7 hours of total gameplay. So I mean, that for 20 bucks is okay. Um, in my opinion, the story was worth it, but it all is subject to what you want to, to, to put forth for that. You know what I mean? It's up to you what you value things. I think it was totally worth it for $12, $20. I would have bought this game, for sure. I would have. And I'm probably going to, to be honest with you. I only have like five minutes left before midnight here. And I'm probably going to do it just so I can get the achievements and things. I might as well, right? It sucks that I have to get it on Xbox because Xbox is kind of a dead platform for me at the current moment, but hey. <laughs> That's okay, we can always rebuy it on sale on Steam and do it all again just for fun. I absolutely think it's worth it. It's totally worth it. Price of admission, for sure. Alright, I am going to sit here and watch the credits and things, and we're going to go back and uh, check out the other routes, because I think there was still two more routes we could technically go there, uh, just to see what would have happened. But we know this true timeline now. It took us a while to get there, but that's, that's part of the journey. The journey of the story here. That's what the beauty of it is. The change concept they had going. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely. Alright, chill out, listen to some tunes. If I speed this up, yeah, yeah, go! Kind of funny how I almost stopped talking at the exact end of that. <laughs> Alright, let's go do the other routes then. Oh, uh, I guess I have to spacebar again. Yes. Yes. So I can use junk or malice here. Let's see what we got. We'll do some junk. With a little junk. I might have tweaked his wonder potion with a little junk. What exactly junk? Can't wait to see the look on his face when he realizes he drank his own cigar ash. How did ashes get into the vial? It was pretty easy to mess with the vial when it was behind my back. Oh, that's sneaky. Well, it's a bad habit anyways. Ha, I always said, bad habits are like 50 yard field goals. Huh? Hard to kick. Oh. Alright. You can call me Sharper Valentine. Began to contort and expand as he disappeared into a belching green mist. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Oh, what? What happened? Oh my god, he turned into ash? <laughs> what? He's dead now! Oh, well, that's one way to kick a bad habit. Okay. The last of what was once sharper Valentine wafted into the air, the crowd began to disperse, still numb from what they had just observed. <laughs> okay. Sharper Valentine was gone for good. His end would be a new beginning for Beacon Pines, a new chance to let go of the things they had lost and grab hold of a new future. The end. That's not quite right. Well, I'd be lying if I said that wasn't a bit gratifying. If that feels to you like a good note to end on, I won't stand in your way. Alright, so now we'll go ahead and do Malice. With a little Malice. 
what happens now? Tweaked his wonder potion with a little malice. <laughs> Gotta do all the routes, baby. The whiskey from his office. Yeah, dude had an unfinished glass on his desk. Figured his grow juice could use a little hair of a dog. Can you call me Sharper Valentine? His body and face began to contort and expand as he disappeared we go again? into a belching green mist. Oh! He just found the big confetti! <laughs> That's why I got 8 inch proof whiskey! Damn, dude! <laughs> he just went pop! The crowd gazed in stunned silence at the now empty stage. <laughs> what just happened? The quiet was broken when William Kerr sprinted off stage and into the distance. He was never seen around Beacon Pines or anywhere else for that matter. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was ridiculous. Watching the silhouette of Kerr disappear over the horizon, Luca began to laugh. First, a low chuckle that became uncontrolled, heaving laughter. Through his tears, oh he was God. vaguely aware that the crowd had begun to laugh with him. The end. What just happened? That was... unexpected. Perhaps a bit of an absurd ending for my taste, but... Who am I to say? say? I'm only writing the damn thing. <laughs> well, that's uh I'm starting to see. Is there anything else I can do? Uh let's go back to the beginning. Just out of curiosity, I want to uh, it doesn't really matter. Um we were it doesn't just matter. Go chill for the day. Yeah, unless it's just a bonus. I want to see what happens if we go back to the grave at the beginning. Yeah. I know. We'll stay out of trouble, I promise. I'm still an animal. That's right. Let's go and look. To be honest, I'm not even sure what else I could do with these because I did both the bonus things. I'm not sure if that procs like an extra ending or something. But I guess that would be all. Because this is kind of a fake fake thing here. Uh, so I'm going to have to say that's probably it. Let me double check over here. No, I guess I technically did unlock everything. It just never showed up on the, on the thing for that. I guess I'll just go ahead. Yeah. So the achievements were Pop Goes the Weasel, Close the Book, Angler Angler, The Big Chill, Riddle Me This, Melon Kicker, Nerd, Born in a Barn, Play That Funky Music, and A Charmed Life. Which should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. For a thousandth hour. And I played it in 5 hours and 1 minute. Wow. That's not bad at all. I think it was a very fun game for sure. I'll just screen cap it and throw it in there. Alright. I don't know why the achievements didn't show up, but that's okay. Yeah. And I thank everybody for watching, and I thoroughly enjoyed this game, like I said. I only have one minute left. I'm not sure if it's going to kick me out of the game or not, but I thoroughly enjoyed this playthrough. Thank you so much for watching. You can check out more videos that I've done, and I will see you in whatever we decide to do next. Thank you, thank you.